paid, but don't do the work they were hired and paid to do. We've covered many of these stories over the years, and we have another one tonight. A man says he paid a contractor to do work at a property he owns, but says he hasn't seen or heard from the contractor in, in a while. So he's called us for help. Now, your Action 10 News Troubleshooters Report. Tomas Peña says he bought this place on Coleman as a retirement property about 20 years ago. And as you can see, it'll be a while before anybody can actually live here. He says he was at a baby shower last year when he met a guy who told him he was a contractor. What convinced you, other than meeting him at that shower, that, yeah, this is the guy? He had a beautiful uh, uh, personality. Como se llama? Uh, Juan Villanueva. J.E.V. Construction is John Eric Villanueva. The troubleshooters have left three different voicemails on the number listed on this business card and sent him three emails since February 6th, offering him the opportunity to give us his side of this story. He has not responded. A short time after meeting him, Peña says Villanueva stopped by and gave him an estimate. He gave you an estimate of $7,500. Uh-huh. Did he say, yeah, I specialize in foundation work or lifting houses or anything like that? I mean, anybody can tell you I'm a contractor. No. He told me that he would do the, the, the leveling on the house okay. and uh, renovation of this back room. This receipt shows Peña paid Villanueva $5,500 as a down payment on July 3rd of 2022. Peña says he did drop off some materials last summer, but hasn't been back since. Tell me specifically what he was supposed to do besides tearing all this down. Level the floor and, and uh, renovate the roof or this roof back here. Okay. Peña says he comes here several times a week to get some work done on his own, but as you can see, he's got a long way to go to get it looking like he wants it to look. Now, remember... Always limit your initial payment to a contractor to 10% of the total cost for the job you've hired them to do. And always make sure you both sign a contract laying out the payment plan. As always, whenever you have a story you'd like the troubleshooters to check out, just send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com. Time now for our first look at the weather with meteorologist Bill Alexander in tonight for Sharon Ray. What a weekend, what a day today. Thank you, sir. May we have another? Yes, and in fact, let's have another week of this. <laughs> we are looking at a gorgeous conclusion to a beautiful President's Day out there. Look at these temperatures deep into the 80s during the day today. It's backed off to the upper 70s right now. But we've got this nice little configuration here with high pressure off to the east, big storm developing over the Rockies and pulling that Gulf moisture and warmth into our area. And that has been the, the pattern during the day today. Those strong south southeasterly winds keeping the humidity in here with dew points at very spring like levels, but temperatures hovering generally in the middle to upper 70s. Now that's fully five to eight degrees warmer than it was this time yesterday. Now overnight tonight, we only drop into the middle 60s, mostly cloudy, humid, and yeah, fog an issue, especially along the coastline, but windy and warm again tomorrow. What about rain chances? Uh, don't count on that much. What we are going to be looking at is a lot of wind, a lot of warmth and humidity, and we'll be talking about heat index values as we go through the week. Andy? All right, Bill, we'll look forward to it. The City, County, Public Health District, and a and Corpus Christi teaming up with the goal of strengthening the health care industry's workforce. And to accomplish that goal, they have revitalized a program that gives nursing students an opportunity for internships with the health district. The first group of students has completed the four-week internship program, and in March, 10 more students will participate. This partnership gives us an opportunity to build the next generation of leaders in public health nursing. It also helps build their careers, and we are hoping that this opportunity will keep the local talent local. Well, according to a 2022 study, more than 230,000 health care providers left the profession in the first two years of the pandemic. President Biden makes an unannounced trip to Ukraine nearly a year since Russia's invasion. Details on the meeting between the two presidents and the additional military aid to the Ukraine. When we come back. You're watching Action 10 News at 630. 
Well, now to the war in Eastern Europe. President Biden rode 10 hours by train from the Polish border for an unannounced visit to Kyiv, Ukraine today. He met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and spoke in the war-torn capital vowing, quote, unwavering commitment, end quote, in the U.S.'s support of Ukraine as it defends against Russia's invasion. Nicole D'Antonio tells us more. President Biden's unannounced visit to Kyiv comes as Russia's invasion enters its second year this week. Putin's war of conquest is failing. Russia's military has lost half its territory it once occupied. The president spent more than five hours at the Ukrainian capital meeting with President Vladimir Zelensky to talk about the next steps in the war, including newly announced plans to send Ukraine nearly half a billion dollars in additional U.S. military equipment. I thought it was critical that there would not be any doubt, none whatsoever, about U.S. support. Ukraine. Thank you for your leadership. Thanks, bipartisan support. Thanks, Congress. The two leaders took time to honor Ukraine's fallen soldiers. At one point during the tour, air raid sirens sounded, giving President Biden a sense of what Ukrainians endure every day across their war-torn country. The Americans stand with you, and the world stands with you. Kyiv has captured a part of my heart, I must say. Here in the U.S., while some Republicans commended the president for his visit to Kyiv, others were critical. Representative Scott Perry of Pennsylvania tweeted, breathtaking that President Biden can show up in Ukraine to ensure their border is secure, but can't do the same for America. After the visit, President Biden traveled to Poland for talks with its president and other Eastern European allies. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House. The Department of Defense announcing the drawdown of equipment from Pentagon inventories for Ukraine since August 2021. It's valued at up to $460 million. The president says it includes artillery, ammunition for Hemers, rocket launchers and howitzers, as well as more javelins, armor systems and air surveillance radars. And here we go, a look at downtown. Da -da 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 -da. Remember that Petula Clark song? That's way back, like way back. Anyway, downtown Corpus Christi, that means Bill Alexander, you may see him running down here from uh, the downtown area because he's got his full forecast coming up next right here on Action 10 News. Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good evening, folks. It's been a glorious day, very spring-like, and it's going to stay that way. Let's take a look at what's going on. Yeah, you can see the... Uh, the pattern here in the upper air. Yeah, well, there's a big old ridge here that's blocking anything from coming down as far as cold air, and that's going to stay that way. In fact, if you take a look at our uh, scenario here, look at where the Arctic air is in the northern Hudson Bay, 42 below, 33, 38 below. Yeah, it's up there. Down here, not a chance. In fact, it's hard to find anything below freezing across the lower 48. Uh, you can have, go to Montana and find that, but boy, I tell you, around here, nothing even close to that. You've got 70s and 80s over most of the Lone Star State, 65 up there in Amarillo, 66 in El Paso, but around here, nah, we made it to 86 degrees today after that morning low of 65. Both these numbers way above normal for this time of the year, 12, 13 degrees above normal. Rain? Well, we could use some. What's, look what's happened to our drought index here into the moderate category for drought, and it's not getting any better. Look at the first three months of the year, below normal, significantly below normal in rainfall. And as you move on over and look at the lake level, it's a combined lake level. A month ago, 43.1%, now down to 42.1%. And you've lost 2% at Lake Corpus Christi alone. So things aren't looking good, and they're looking even worse when you talk about the rainfall potential over the next seven days. you got goose eggs essentially around here. All the energy is well off to our north, and with all that moisture pour Pouring in here on peak gust today, near 30 to 32 miles an hour, but it's moving right on through here, interacting with this boundary. Well, this boundary is not making it to us. 
Remember that big ridge down there? Yeah, it doesn't have a chance of coming here, backing up as a warm front. It's a little dry line. does develop, though, with an upper level disturbance moving across. But where's the energy? Way off to the north. In fact, that dry line retreats off to the west by late Wednesday and leaves us back in square one again. Now, there's the upper level disturbance driving that dry line, but look where it's going. Way off to the north and away from us. As another system moving across by early next week. It's going to take basically the same track, but might be close enough to give us at least a chance of rain. But that's a week away. When you look at it, even then, Monday into Tuesday, less than a tenth of an inch of rain. So things aren't looking good from the rainfall department. You better water your yard. Temperatures overnight tonight, very mild uh, in the lower to middle 60s, and that will be accompanied by fog. That sea fog rolling on in here. Actually, limiting itself to the immediate coastline. A little bit of fog in the inland areas with that strong jet stream uh, in the lower layers of the atmosphere preventing this fog from penetrating much further inland. So it'll be coastal fog for the most part, but it's going to stick around for a couple of days. Now, that's also going to impact the uh, high temperatures only in the middle 70s in those locations. But inland, middle to upper 80s and tomorrow you're going to see more of the same uh, in the lower 80s here relative humidities along the coast staying high but by wednesday fire danger out west so here's the scenario for the coastal waters choppy to occasionally rough bays strong southerly winds yeah it's not fun out there tomorrow above average temperatures continuing and below average precipitation here's the bottom line folks it's going to be dry but warm and humid for the next seven days with highs in the 80s to near 90 degrees andy wow. 90 in february we'll take it well, you never know what can bring a community together, right? Even a rock can do it if it's a kindness rock. They're turning up all across the coastal bend. They have inspirational messages and pictures decorated by folks throughout the coastal bend. No matter how old you are, members say a positive message can go a long way. It's fun for the younger age, but for the older group, it just kind of also shows, hey, there is still some kindness, some innocence, some pure and happy and, joy, and, and just joy that's out there. Um, spreading love, spreading smiles, just something, something small can brighten somebody's day. Well, if you find a rock, you can either keep it or re-hide it, but make sure to share your feelings. black business owner who says she's trying to change how people view their skin care journey. Her name, Alexandria Baskin, owner of Poppin Natural. Her story is that after suffering an allergic reaction more than five years ago, Miss Baskin says she began playing around with different formulas and ta-da, finally she found the right combination. I started off in DIY. It was just really DIY, uh, researching, finding out what was great for my skin. Well, in doing that, I started to get really good at it and I started knowing when my skin was clearing up. I went into it like full, full blown, full at it and here it is, popping natural. There you go, Alexandria's skincare products are all natural, vegan and